This is Earth, the year 2100. This is the headquarters of Space Patrol. And men from Earth, Mars, and Venus live and work there as guardians of peace. What a pleasure it is not to have any emergencies. Now I can catch up on my correspondence. The Martian president is calling you on the solar beam, Colonel Rayburn. He seems most perturbed. Space around me. I spoke too soon. All right, Marla. Put him on the video screen. Well, sir, what can I do for you? We're having trouble with our electricity supplies, Colonel. Marla, there's something wrong with this connection. I cannot trace any fault this end. I must apologize, Colonel. The fault is our end. Did you see the lights fade? Well, that's happening all the time. What's the matter with your electricity? My, my scientists tell me that the, the thermonuclear reactors which generate our electricity are slowing down. They need water to keep them working, and because of the recent drought, there isn't enough water available. What about seawater? This is Mars, Colonel, not Venus. And since the terrible drought, we haven't enough seawater for fish, let alone for reactors. Hmm. It's a tricky problem, sir. But I'll talk it over with Professor Haggerty. Now mind how you water that plant, Cassiopeia. You've been daydreaming all afternoon. I'm trying to decide where to go this summer, Venus or Mars. Don't go to Mars, Cassie. They're having trouble with their electricity supply. Indeed. And I suppose you want me to fix it. You've guessed right, Professor Haggerty. Can you do it? No, I can't. Can anything else be used instead of water? Water is one of the best sources of energy. Even Cassie knows that. Is that so? <laughs> you make me feel very stupid. You are, Colonel. What's that? I, I said you are going to have trouble trying to solve this problem. Colonel Rayburn, Captain Larry Dart is in space near Saturn, and he wishes to talk to you. Tell him to hold on. I'll take the call in my office. I wish Rayburn would hurry. I don't like the sound of that mesen power. What's the matter, Dart? Instrument trouble. It's the mesen power, Colonel. We'll have to land somewhere to fix it. Which is the nearest place to go? One of the moons of Saturn. I thought of uh, Titan. Very well. If you can't fix the mesen power, I'll send another Gallosphere to collect you. I'm sure that won't be necessary, sir. There isn't an instrument invented Husky couldn't fix. Switch to primary drive, Slim, and prepare to go into orbit. How does Titan look, Husky? It looks titanic. I'm switching to robot control for landing. We've landed. I'll go out and check the Mesa power. It surprises me that no one has tried to colonize Titan. Why should they? It's just a lump of barren rock like all moons. I've located the trouble. Can you mend it? Yes, Captain. It was only a small fault. Good. The sooner we get back to Earth, the sooner our leave starts. We have another three months due to us. I only hope Colonel Rayburn does not send us out on another mission instead. So do I. Everything's all right, Larry. We can take off. Congratulations, Husky. You... What have you got there? It's an egg. I found it near the Gallosphere when I was checking the Misan power. You had no right to bring it on board without checking it first. It may be radioactive. It isn't. I have already checked it. Prepare for takeoff, Slim. Speed, 5,000 miles an hour rising. Space velocity maintained. It's time to go into the freezer. I hate going in the freezer. If you didn't, you'd have to eat space rations. Ugh, let's go in the freezer at once. Gallosphere 347 calling Space Headquarters, Earth. We're going into the freezer. I'm setting automatic time control to operate for 41 days. If an emergency arises, please use your Zergon ray to switch it off. Message received and noted. Well, what do you know? That egg's as bright as Sirius. The 
Martian president is calling you again, Colonel. Put him on the screen. The situation is getting worse. Factories and transport are at a standstill, and our hospitals may have to close. The best brains in the United Galactic Organization are working on the problem, but it isn't easy. Well, what can I do? If all homes stop using electricity, would you have enough then to keep your factories and other services working? Yes, I would. Very well. Then cut all electricity supplies to private houses. People can't sit in the dark and freeze. They can use gas for heat and light. They won't stand for that. This is the year 2100, and Martians will not go back to the gaslight age. What about candle power? Candle power? I fear the president was angry. I know. Galasphere 347 has landed, and Captain Dart would like to see you. I'm too busy. Tell him to go on leave. Yes, Colonel. That egg is fantastic. It's lighting up the whole room. Rayburn is too busy to see you, Captain Dart. But he gives you permission to go on leave. I want to see him first. I have something to show him. The Colonel is not in a receptive mood, Captain. I would advise you to stay away from him. Now what do I do? Go on leave and forget about that. If every house had one of these eggs, you wouldn't have to pay for electricity anymore. I wonder what would happen if we opened it. I have a feeling it would not be good to eat. Rayburn must see this. I'm going to take it to him. I don't care how busy he is. You must find a way of helping Mars, Professor. Every scientist in the United Galactic Organization is trying to do so, but it's impossible. What a business. Those Martians will have to use gaslight or candle power. Colonel Rayburn, I want to talk How to dare you interrupt me? I'm busy. I had to see you. No. But I brought you an egg. Well, go away and sit on it. But leave me alone. But this egg has special qualities, sir. Switch off the lights. What? How dare... Please, Colonel, switch off the lights. You must be suffering from space sickness. Get out of here. Not till I've switched off the lights. This is fantastic. Where did you get it? Husky found it on Titan. You did quite right to disobey orders, Dart. If there are any more eggs where this one came from, it may solve the electricity crisis on Mars. Come on, Dart. I can't wait to see Professor Haggerty's face when I show him this egg. It's as good as any of his nutty inventions. I hope you haven't spoiled the egg by opening it, Professor. Well, my scientific curiosity wouldn't give me no peace till I knew what was inside it. Besides, if this stuff was given off light inside the shell, it must give much more light when it's out of the shell. There's one way of finding out. Turn off the light, Dart. It's sensational. If this stuff was painted on a ceiling, it would light up a whole room. How would you turn it off? You'd have to fit black roller blinds on the ceilings. Then you'd turn off the light by covering the ceiling up. I'm going to tell the Martian president of our discovery. He didn't want to use gaslight or candle power. I only hope he won't mind using eggs. Egg light? Are you out of your mind, Colonel? No, Mr. President. I'm serious. The fluid in these eggs gives off a terrific glow. And if your houses and shops and offices were lit by egg light, you'd then have enough ordinary electricity to meet your power requirements. Hmm. I don't know. My people are very sensitive. And egg light sounds like a, a joke. The real name for this is, um, uh, quick, give me a name for it. We found it on Titan, uh, so, uh, uh, Titanite. What did you say it was called? Titanite. And you'll be the first planet to use this great new discovery. Ah, well, yes, all right. Let us have supplies immediately. Well, Dart, you must go to Titan at once. 
But my leave. You and your crew could have double leave after you've brought me back every single egg on Titan. Plus the birds who lay them. What? You heard. We must have a regular supply of eggs, and we can't lay them ourselves. But, Colonel, Titan's like our moon. It has no atmosphere, and nothing can live on it. What? You tell me this after I've promised the president. Now, look here, Dart. You brought back the egg, and now you've got to bring back the bird. But, Colonel... Go! Yes, sir. <laughs> Husky? All in order, Captain. I'm ready. Thanks. Gallisphere 024 to central control. Ready for final check. All in order. Ready to lift. Takeoff program starting now. Titan is on the scanner now. I'm switching to robot control for landing. We've landed. Open the vacuum doors, Slim. Husky and I are going bird nesting. Can I not come with you? You know the rules, Slim. A gallosphere must never be left unguarded. But there is nothing on Titan. That's what I'm afraid of. Poor Captain Dart. If he cannot find any birds or eggs, Rayburn will be furious. for four hours and I'm tired. Oh, I don't believe there are any eggs here. I found one. I'm beginning to wish you hadn't. Galasphere 347 calling Larry Dart. Have you had any luck, Captain? Not yet, Slim. We're still looking. Come on, Husky, let's go on trying. What can that noise be? Most odd. I will go out and investigate. It's no use, Husky. There isn't an egg on Titan. What shall we do? Call up Rayburn and tell him. Come on, let's go back to the Gallosphere. The humming noise has gone. No, it hasn't. It's coming from over there. Where's Slim? He left a note. Heard extraordinary noise. Decided to investigate. Slim had no business leaving the Gallosphere. I'll call him up. Slim, where are you? Slim, can you hear me? Yes, Captain. I am on my way back. I should think so, too. I am sorry I went out, but I heard a... Oh, Captain, I can see something. It's... Slim. Slim, what's happened? It is all right, Captain. I am safe. Are you hurt? No, but I regret I have damaged my space helmet and oxygen escapes every time I move. Well, don't move. Husky and I will come and collect you. Give me your exact location. One moment, Captain. My transmitter is... Slim, give me your location. He's not answering. He must have damaged his transmitter when he fell. We've got to find him before his oxygen gives out. The light's fading, too. 
It'll be too dark to see him soon. We'd better use our hover jets. My oxygen is escaping fast. This is a most unpleasant predicament. If Dart and Husky cannot find me soon, I will... I will never see Venus again. There is that noise again. I wonder what it can be. It is better if I sit still. I will lose more oxygen if I move. Most extraordinary. I must see what it is. I will move very slowly. A cave. The noise is coming from inside. If only I had my gamma ray gun. Ready, Husky? Yes. Then let's go. We might as well give up. We'll never find Slim in this light. You mean in this dark? We'll have to look again as soon as it's dawn. Let's circle around some more. for me. He must see me now. It's hopeless. We better get back to the Gallosphere. I won't go back. We must. That's an order, Husky. Captain, I can see a light. Where? Over there. You're right. Let's go down and see what it is. In another few minutes, I will... It's Slim. He's dead. No. No, he isn't. Quickly, Husky. 
Fit the new oxygen cylinder to Slim's Molang. What's that? How are you feeling now? Joyous. Thank you for saving my life. If we hadn't seen the light... The light! Where did you find the eggs? In the cave. You mean that cave back there? Yes. What in the name of space is that? I call it a humming dog, and it lays the eggs you have been searching for. Our search is over, Captain. We must capture some of these dogs and take them to Earth. You will not have to capture them. They are most affectionate and will follow us. Look, I will show you. What are we waiting for? Let's collect some eggs and go. I'm worried. We should have heard from Dot hours ago. A call is coming on the solar beam now. Everything is fine, Colonel. And we found some eggs. Have you got the birds who lay them? We've got the dogs, Colonel. Don't be funny, Dot. Dogs aren't allowed in Gallospheres. These dogs are special. They're the ones who lay the eggs. Dot and his jokes. Egg-laying dogs, indeed. He'll soon be asking me to believe in barking hens. They're still laying eggs. I wonder how many we'll have by the time we reach Earth. And I have a little present for you. A meowing bird, I suppose. What's going on here? These Harmon dogs are more fertile than rabbits. You'll never have a shortage of eggs. So I see. And uh, here's my present for you, Colonel. Uh, no thanks, Larry. If I took it home, I'd soon have to get a bigger house. Egg-laying dogs. Indeed, and it's a wonderful universe we're living in. It certainly is. I must tell the Martian president that we'll be sending eggs to him at once. <laughs> <laughs> 